For me, I study well under pressure, but that is not the best way to handle most things in my life at this point. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joined over here where we talk about dental school, getting into dental school, and whatever else I want to talk about. Today is super exciting because we're talking about why you need to start studying for the DAT right now. And this video is pretty informative. It'll be short though, but what you really need to know is that we're doing a giveaway. The people over at Orgo Man have been so generous and so kind. They've given me two DAT destroyers and a math destroyer to go with each of them. These are super valuable and I'm giving away two, so I really encourage y'all to watch till the end to find out how you can win one of the sets. Okay, now we got that out the way and y'all know what is up for grabs here. We can get into the video. So the DAT, the dental admissions test, the DAT, whatever you want to call it, this is something that you have to deal with if you want to be a dentist. This is the test that you're going to take in order to get into dental school. Now on top of all your prerequisites and all these things, your shadowing and volunteer experience that you need to get into dental school, this score, this score is so important. Of course you can retake the test if it doesn't go so well the first time, but Imagine we just killed it the first time we took it. How about that, you know? So, I'm gonna get into why y'all need to start studying right now. It is February, it's the end of February, so that gives you a lot of time if you're applying in the upcoming cycle to get it together and prepare yourself so you can nail the score that you need. Number one, time can either be your best friend or your worst nightmare when it comes to studying for the DAT. For me, I study well under pressure, but that is not the best way to handle most things in my life at this point. If you give yourself a few months and it's not just like, oh my God, I have to take the test in six weeks, you're gonna do a lot better. Whatever you know you need to do in order to be your best self for the day of the exam is what you need to do. But for me personally, if I study a little bit here and there and then I really focus in for the last few weeks or few days, that is when I get the ideal like brain energy, brain power, everything to remembering what I've studied. Let's use time to our advantage and just give ourselves extra time to study for this super duper important test. Number two, there's a lot of material to cover. And if you check out my other video, I'll, I'll link it below or put it here somewhere. There's a lot to cover for this test and it's not just memorizing information. You also have to worry about the perceptual ability test, the PAT, which is built into the DAT. And these things take time. You have to train your brain, you have to train your eyes and your hands, everything to work together so that you can do well on these certain parts. And also like the math part, you need extra attention to it because you're like, oh, I know how to do math. It's not like Orgo. But there are a lot of questions and it feels like there's not that much time for them. So I want y'all to be super duper prepared and just really give every subject the time that it deserves. Reason number three you need to start studying right now would be you need to take benchmark tests. So just a starter without studying anything, take practice tests, see what that score is. And then I would take them once a week when it got to about a, a month out from my exam. But between when I started studying for the DAT and when I actually took it. I took maybe four or five full length practice tests. And those are really good gauges to see how am I retaining this information? Is the studying that I'm doing effective or do I need to switch it up? And those benchmark tests, when you take them over time and you look at those stats, they can really help you figure out where you are slacking, where you're doing great in, and just really give you the best chance possible at doing really well on your actual test day. Reason number four. If y'all are anything like me, you had fun in college, and I want y'all to have fun. But I also want you to remember that, you know, you have a goal in mind, that goal is dentistry, and you have to have a good GPA for that. However, if you don't have a 3.5 and above, 3.25, 3.3, it's fine. It's fine. You're going to make up for it with all of your experience in dentistry, all of your shadowing, volunteer and also your DAT score. In my opinion, in my unprofessional opinion, the best way to make up for a less than ideal GPA is to nail your DAT and get like a 20 and above. Now, I don't work in admissions. I just do what I can, helping people get into dental school, and I 
I got into dental school, so I think that gives me a little bit of credibility. If you're sitting at like a 3.0 or maybe a little bit lower, if you can pull out like a 25, 26, I have a hard time believing that admissions committees are gonna look at that and be like, well, they suck, they can't get in. Like, I don't think that's gonna happen. So if you wanna give yourself the best chances of getting in without taking a gap year and doing a master's program or retaking those classes, the best way to do that is by really studying for the DAT and nailing it with a sensational score, beautiful score, just something that makes people go, oh, oh okay, she's serious. So the fifth reason y'all need to start studying right now is because your future self will thank you. You know, like, have you ever looked back and been like, wow, if I would have just studied like two more hours or started studying a week before, I could have passed that exam and we would have been out of the situation. This situation wouldn't exist. Your, your current self is responsible for your future self. You know what I mean? So you need to be able to look back and be like, ah, oh, past self, thank you so much for doing that for me. I do this all the time, but I'm just like, wow, future Joy is going to thank me for saving this snack or for meal prepping. It's the same thing, but with, you know, a test and your career. That is my last and final reason y'all need to start studying right now. Now, let's get to the fun part, the giveaway. Woo! Okay, giveaway. The Orgo Man has resources all over the internet just for you, and a lot of them are free. So one is the Orgo Man group on Facebook. Go ahead and join that. I'll put the link below. And also the Orgo Man YouTube channel. If y'all go and subscribe there and join the Facebook group, all that good stuff. There are a lot of resources there that can help you improve your score and really get a good grasp on everything. The DAT Destroyer was one of my biggest resources when it came to studying for the DAT. Now, I studied back in 2017 for this test, which feels like a very long time ago, but it really wasn't. It's the same thing, test is still the same, and y'all still gotta take it to get into school. This is a really great opportunity to win one of these. So to enter the giveaway, it's really, really simple. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, also subscribe to the Orgo Man channel, and then the last thing is to comment below and tell me your favorite topic on the DAT. After you follow all these steps, you are good to go. You are entered to win. This is a Black History Month giveaway. However, I did it at the end of the month. The winner will be announced on March 10th. I'm going to give you all two weeks to get in your submissions. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this with a friend. If you, if you have pre-dental buddies, definitely share this to the group and get the word out. With all that being said, happy studying. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.